React versus Angular. When it comes to developing web and mobile applications, React and Angular seem to be the two platforms everyone uses. But which one is right for you? On the surface, there may not seem to be much difference between them, but they do have some pretty big differences. In this video, we'll break down those differences into how each platform works, how popular it is with companies and developers, and how usable it is. But first, in case you don't already know, let me explain Angular and React and what they have in common. Aren't they the same? Angular and React are development platforms that can be used to build user interfaces for desktop and mobile applications. In other words, you use them to create the bits of your online business that clients can see and interact with. Angular was developed by Google and React by Meta, the parent company of Facebook. Both use versions of the ever-popular JavaScript. Both use component-based architecture, a way to build software using recycled parts. To put it another way, you can build software by dropping in the bits you need, one part at a time, and you can use the same part multiple times without affecting the other components. So if you have something you need to happen in the same way over and over, it's easy and quick to do that. They're both straightforward to update, so you can update your apps without hassle. Both are compatible with a wide range of popular code editors, such as WebStorm, Visual Studio Code, Atom, and others. Both make it easy to set up projects using command line interfaces, text interfaces you can use to execute specific tasks, like Terminal on a Mac or Command Prompt on Windows. Both allow you to do both client-side and server-side rendering. Rendering is when your code becomes the interface people will use. Client-side refers to when your client's computer does the rendering at their end. Server-side is when it's done on a server and then sent to the client's computer fully rendered. Finally, they also perform pretty similarly, as you can see from this table. If you don't know what the numbers are, just be aware that they are close enough for the most part, so as to not make too much of a difference. For example, Angular seems to render twice as fast as React, but six milliseconds is still pretty fast. You might be asking, if they're so similar, how can I choose between them? Well, despite doing the same job in kind of the same way, there are some pretty significant differences. The key to understanding these differences is what the platforms are for and the philosophies behind them. This is where I have to confess something. Even though I've implied that both platforms are created to do the same thing, that's not exactly true. In reality, Angular is a fully fledged framework in which you can build dynamic web applications. React is a programming framework, essentially a library of interactive components you build your user interfaces with. That means they have some major differences and the key differences are best demonstrated through the companies that use each platform. What does this mean in practice? Despite their similarities, a few significant differences affect what you might use the platform for. Popularity. Angular has 57.68% of the market share, but it's only used by 19.4% of developers. It's used by big, solid companies like Google and Microsoft, and it's often the choice of companies that need stability, such as PayPal, Deutsche Bank, and Wise. Disruptive companies like Airbnb, Uber, Tesla, and Discord favor React. It's popular with 42% of developers using it, partly because it does more than just front-end framework development. This difference shows up in the community surrounding each platform. In November 2024, React had over 229,000 stars on GitHub to Angular's 96,000. This is similar to React's popularity on places like Stack Overflow, where its community often shares resources, solutions, tools, and even third-party libraries. Angular does have a big community. 96,000 starts isn't exactly a small number, but one that's more likely to share tutorials than libraries or translations of tools. Another place where you can see a popularity gap is in recruitment. Of roughly 500,000 offers for front-end development jobs between November 2022 and the end of 2023, nearly half were for React developers. Only 38% needed help with Angular. There's a difference in what you might expect to pay too, but not a huge one. According to talent.com, the average annual wage of an Angular developer in the US in 2024 is 120,000, while React developers get a couple grand more at $122,580. Part of that could be because the types of developers applying for those jobs are different. Angular attracts more expensive, experienced programmers, while React attracts people from earlier careers. And one reason for that is each platform's usability. Usability. Perhaps the biggest difference is that Angular uses a version of JavaScript called TypeScript. If you know JavaScript pretty well, TypeScript is easy to read and adapt to. That makes it excellent for veteran programmers who know JavaScript inside out. 
React uses plain old JavaScript and can also use HTML for its user interface, which makes it sound more traditional than Angular. However, it does this to make it much easier to use. You only need an intermediate level understanding of JavaScript and HTML to get going. These differences in usability continue beyond the programming languages. React integrates many of its features, meaning you only have to learn them once, but that doesn't mean everything is easy. React does so many things differently from other platforms that the same veteran developers who are comfortable with Angular might need time to get out of old habits. For example, consider how each approaches its document object model, or DOM. The programming interface on Angular is a real physical DOM, while React opts for a virtual DOM. The benefit of the VDOM is that when you change a component, the VDOM changes that component in the real DOM, which is more efficient because the VDOM uses fewer resources. The React VDOM also has its own state management library, while Angular uses NGRX as its state management library. A state management library manages the application's possible configurations, or states, and is where you go to fix or change those states. NGRX is, of course, solid and dependable and puts the various states of your app on a tree that you can access from anywhere on the app. In React, because it's already a library, every component can have its own state in a range of state management tools to access it, or even none once you have experience with how React's VDOM works. Another difference that could influence who uses each platform is data binding. Angular uses bi-directional or two-way data binding. That means when a change is made to the data or the interface, both are updated. So if a client changes something, the data behind it changes simultaneously. Then the next time the interface is rendered, that change will already be there because it's in the data. It makes the system solid and reliable. It's also slightly quicker to upload and render because it has a system to avoid rendering code that's either being used or isn't being used. React has unidirectional data binding, so if an interface is changed and then the app is re-rendered, it will return to its original state. This feels like it's a point to Angular, but being React, you can change to using bidirectional data binding if you like. You can't change to unidirectional binding with Angular, and there are some instances when you might want to. Summary. To sum up, React is more popular with developers, but companies that need stability like Angular. Angular has a good online community, but React's is much bigger. React developers cost slightly more, but not much more. Angular uses an old-fashioned DOM, while React opts for the lighter weight VDOM. Angular opts for just bidirectional data binding, while React, though usually unidirectional, can use either. Angular has a unique state management framework, while React can use a range of programs or none. React has integrated features that you have to learn separately in Angular. And because of these differences, Angular is fast, solid, and great for a team of experienced developers. React is lightweight, adaptable, and fantastic for a group of ambitious and inventive young talent. Overall, Angular is built to be solid and reliable, a dependable platform that follows established ways of doing things. React is more about flexibility and originality, allowing you to be more radical, using components to build from the ground up. In the end, it comes down to what kind of business you want to run and what apps you want to develop. Thank you for watching. If you want more advice, feel free to contact us at Impeccable using the link below. We'd be happy to discuss your options in more detail. Until then, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.